Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is a super exciting video because you guys have been requesting these recipes. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do because I make tons of delicious, healthy, easy to make recipes that you don't wanna miss. So first off, we are making these soft pretzels. This was requested by one of you guys to make a healthy version, so here we go. I'm using some cast of a flower, which is actually from the yucca root. It helps with digestion and it's also good for bone health, as well as some tapioca flour, which is great at boosting your energy and balancing your blood sugar. A pinch of Himalayan salt. As you guys know, this is my staple salt. It just balances your pH. It's got so many minerals in it for you. A little bit of baking powder, which is gonna help the pretzels kind of develop and rise because we want that really nice bready texture. So mix together your dry ingredients and then go ahead and add in some coconut oil. It adds a little bit of fat to this recipe and a good kind of fat. And then an egg. I haven't tried this with a flax egg, but if you do and it works, let me know. And then I'm putting in a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. This is key to the recipe because it really helps the dough develop and to get the right kind of flavor and texture in it as well. So mix that together and then once you have a dough shape, I separated this into three pretzels. Then you're gonna roll it out on your countertop or a cutting board, either or. And like I said, I made three pretzels. So you roll it out into one long kind of skinny snake, basically. So you roll it with your hand until you get like a skinny snake. And then this is the key. You fold it and cross it and then bring it back down. And that's how you get the pretzel shape. If it cracks a little bit, just press it back together with your hands. We are working with paleo flowers here, guys. So the struggle is a little real, but honestly, it's quite easy. Just pinch it together if it comes apart. And then once those are made, all you need to do is go ahead and boil them. So I'm boiling them for one minute in boiling water. Now this really helps with the texture, both with bagels and with pretzels. While they are out of the boiling water, I'm sprinkling them with some everything bagel spice and then I bake them for another 25 minutes. And there you go, you have these soft paleo pretzels. They're just like the real thing and they taste so good. Next up, we're making these pizza rolls or pizza pockets, whatever they were called when you were little. So I'm starting off with sweet potato. Sweet potato is loaded with vitamin A, vitamin C, and thiamine, which actually helps you get all the energy from the food that you're eating, along with some tapioca flour. You can also use arrowroot starch in place of tapioca flour. And then I'm adding in some almond flour. Almond flour is rich in vitamin E. It's got protein, fiber, healthy fats. So this dough is actually quite a simple recipe. You just mix that all together until you get a nice dough. And then you're gonna need two sheets of parchment paper to roll in between. This is what I found the easiest to roll it out and get it like a nice, thin, even consistency with the dough. So I'm just rolling it out between the two sheets. You want it about an eight to a quarter of an inch thick to make your sweet potato like slices of your dough. Then peel the parchment paper away and all you have to do is slice with a knife to make your square shapes. So if you wanted to make a giant pizza pocket, you could definitely make bigger ones. I'm making those kind of like bite-sized ones that you had when you were little, but feel free to do bigger ones if you want and just slice that into even shapes. Then you're gonna take each of the squares, they come up quite easily, just slide it up with a knife and lay that onto a, either a silicone baking sheet, more parchment paper, or a greased baking sheet, one of the two. I love Rayos. I'm putting a little bit in the center. I'm using the tomato basil one. You guys know this has been my favorite sauce for years, so super delish. And then once that's done, I'm putting on a little bit of dairy-free cheese. You can use whatever kind of dairy-free cheese that you like. This is just one that I found at Whole Foods that I like. It's by Earthbound. I think Earthbound or Earthbound is one of the two, um, and it's pretty good. And then after that, all you need to do is put another one of the squares on top and we're gonna seal the edges with a fork to kind of make sure that nothing seeps out of the sides. So just press the fork on around all of the edges so that everything stays within our little pizza pocket pop type things. And then once they're all prepped, go ahead and bake them in the oven for 12 minutes and then you can have them with a side of more marinara sauce and they're so easy and so delicious and they came out amazing i'm actually really impressed with how easy they were to make and how tasty they were and lastly we're making this queso dip so i'm starting off with one cup of cashews if your cashews are harder you might want to soak them for an hour if not don't worry about it you just want to make sure you get a smooth consistency i'm putting in some paprika some garlic powder um, some turmeric all these flavors are really going to make it super flavorful and also the turmeric helps with kind of like that nacho cheese color and also a little bit of onion powder 
And then I'm going to be rolling out a lemon. This really helps to release the juices of a lemon to help squeeze everything out because you don't want to waste lemon, right? So just roll it out and then squeeze it in your hand to catch the seeds. And then we all have to just blend it up with some water. You can definitely use almond milk too if you want a more creamier one, but I think water works just really well. Blend it till it's smooth and you have this wonderful kind of queso inspired dip. Super flavorful, perfect with tortilla chips and perfect for like even a girl's night in or having friends over or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a good old thumbs up and leave any comments down below of the next like healthy junk food recipe you want me to remake and I will do that. I hope you guys are all having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.